Did you know that the fire department's Knox Box program provides quick access to your home during an emergency? Franklin Park's Fire Chief, Mark Stewart, will explain how they work. The Village's Knox Box program provides non-destructive access to a residence in the event of a fire or medical emergency. The Knox Box fits over the top of an entrance door and contains a resident's entry keys which are located safely inside the box. Using a Knox Box spares the homeowner the expense of replacing a door that had to be broken down to allow emergency personnel to enter. Knox boxes work together with medical alert alarms. It's especially helpful to residents who, due to a physical challenge, may require emergency services but may not be able to get to the door. It can speed up response time and reduce patient stress. Sounds like a great program. A Knox box could also provide peace of mind for relatives or caregivers who may not be able to contact someone and need the fire department to conduct a well-being check for their loved one. How can a resident sign up to participate in this program? Knox boxes are available on loan from the fire department at a cost of $175. Fire department personnel will install the box and insert your keys in the box. When you are finished with the box, the fire department will refund your $175 deposit. Only single family homes qualify for this program and for more information, you can contact the Fire Prevention Bureau at 847-671-8798. Contrary to popular belief, the smell of smoke will probably not wake you up at night. In fact, the gases and smoke produced by a fire can numb your senses and put you into a deeper sleep. The first step in protecting your family and your home is to install smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. By giving you time to escape, they cut your risk of dying in a home fire nearly in half. Lieutenant Mattis is gonna tell us more. Installing a smoke alarm is not just a good idea. It's a requirement by law. Illinois law requires homeowners to replace old alarms with the new sealed lithium battery smoke alarms. These alarms have a 10-year lifespan, eliminating the need to replace the battery. To help homeowners meet this requirement, the Franklin Park Fire Department will install new 10-year sealed lithium battery smoke detectors in your home, free, and explain the proper operation and maintenance of your new detectors. We will also provide a home fire safety checklist and escape plan for you and your family to review and practice. And remember that every home should have a smoke detector inside each sleeping area and on every level of your home, including the basement. Carbon monoxide is known as the invisible killer because it's colorless, it's odorless, and it's a poisonous gas. What should homeowners do to protect themselves? Residents should have working carbon monoxide alarms in their homes, especially if they use a fuel burning appliance like a space heater and fireplace. Do not use an oven to heat your house. Do not leave a space heater running while you are sleeping. And never let your car run in the garage. Carbon monoxide detectors can be purchased separately or as part of your smoke alarm. For more information about the smoke alarm program, contact the Franklin Park Fire Department. Being trained in CPR can provide you with the skills and confidence to stay calm during a medical emergency so you can help someone in need. Our fire department offers CPR classes to prepare you to act anywhere a cardiac arrest happens in public or in your own home. Firefighter DeSico is one of our lead instructors for CPR programs and he's here to help us. There are a lot of reasons to get certified in CPR. You may need to do it as part of your job, or you want to be prepared to be a lifesaver rather than a bystander during an emergency. If you can immediately jump in and give CPR, it can extend the person's chances of surviving until advanced medical care arrives. The fire department offers classes on an as-needed basis, with a minimum requirement of four students. Most classes are held at 9 a.m. and offered Monday through Saturday, usually in the classroom of Fire Station 2. 
We are flexible and work with groups or individuals to find a date that meets the availability of our students and instructors. We are umbrellaed under the American Heart Association and offer several courses. Individuals will be provided with an AHA e-card that is valid for two years from the course date. So, how do you register for classes? To register, call the fire station at 847-678-2400 or email the CPR coordinator at jmattis at vofp.com.